What's up, guys? YouTube, Facebook Live. Ask my wedge. I'm a little sick today, man. But uh, I still got to work. And uh, coming from a job out here in the country. But uh, I, I was checking out Facebook a little earlier. And a uh, um, discussion um, keep arising and keep coming up about um, Dante Wilder. And um, when he was a young buck, when he was coming out of Olympics, and um, um, he was he was introduced to Lennox Lewis, and Lennox Lewis was trying to show him something from a jab perspective, a different perspective from a jab. Being a tall man like Lennox Lewis, he was trying to show Lennox Lewis how to use a jab differently. But uh, Dante Wilder, um, in the in the original video, he wasn't so easily accepting the way uh, with, 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 with the legend was trying to tell him. So the legend walked away, you know? Um, he didn't get disrespectful enough, but he was kind of like, you know, this young boy don't want to listen to me. I'm trying to show him something. And he walked away. He said, okay, whatever. But um, Deontay Wilder is a world champion now, and, you know, and... Um, possibly can be one of the greats if he keep making the right moves. However, um, this new video is surfacing where they cut out the part where Lennox Lewis walked away. So a lot of guys in the Facebook was questioning me about it because I, I brung it up. And it was like, yo, is it true that he walked away, you know? So I just doing this video, you know, I don't know the whole statistics or what was what really was going on, but behind the scene, but I do remember the video. And um, for sure, he did walk away from me. You know, not in a disrespectful manner, but he walked away as if to say that I can't do nothing else for you if you ain't listening. But um, how I look at it is, um, you know, most fighters, you know, if you're not their trainer, they're not going to listen to you or take anything serious from you. Even if you're another boxer, they're going to look at it like competition. They're looking at, why are you telling me anything? Because you're my competition. But the truth is, about that jab, Deontay Wilder, he has a regular jab or whatever he throws, a normal jab that he throws. But... You know, you got to have diversity in your box. And I tell my fighters, you know, never disrespect what anybody going to show you. Even if they may not be as successful as you. Take the knowledge, you know, and later on, if it's good for you, you keep it. If it's not, you, you, you move on. But at least you learn. Um, I never tell my fighters to say, oh, uh, my trainer don't teach me that like that. I don't do it like that. No, never, man. Somebody tell you to throw a jab, Deontay Wilder, what he was what he was trying to tell Deontay Wilder is use your long arm to keep your opponent at bay. And he was telling him to, to, to leave his jab out farther. But you also accept it before overhand rights and people coming over top of your jab, because if you leave your arm out, somebody can counter right over top of it. But you know. That's not in every case, you know. Sometimes you fight somebody that's, that you could do that to, you know. And some people you're not. So styles make fights. You got to be able to mix it up. But if all you do is one way all the time, eventually people are going to figure you out. And, 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 and um, you ain't going to have that diversity. So Lennox Lewis was just giving him another way to look at how to throw a jab. And indeed, he... Um, kept questioning Lennox Lewis. The first time he questioned him, Lennox Lewis you know, said, okay, no, I'm doing it because of this. But then he questioned him again, and Lennox basically walked away. But they don't show that in the new video. Just some uh, for more information from Asphalt Wedge. Peace.